Welcome back. Eating local is a great thing to do, not only for your health, but also for the environment. And there is so much fresh produce out there right now that you can get at your local farmer's markets. Here to tell me a little bit about that is uh, Jara Harrigan and also Christy Moulton from Farm Fresh Rhode Island. And you guys have brought just a cornucopia of stuff. Uh, I was saying a moment ago, um, I like to go to the one at Haynes Park mm -hmm. um, because I can bike over there. I go with my little basket and whatever we find, it's like a little gem. And then we try to figure out, it's almost like Iron Chef. <laughs> what can we use we with, with the mystery <laughs> ingredient? Tell me about some of the stuff that you can find at local farmers markets now. Right. Well, this stuff is all from Chardonnay Farms in Exeter, Rhode Island. All from one farm. We have tomatoes, blueberries, corn, squash. These are garlic scapes. I don't know if you've yes. used these before. You know what? I, I actually went to the grocery store specifically looking for garlic scapes because I heard that they taste like a combination between like a chive and garlic, mm -hmm. but I couldn't find them anywhere. Yeah, those are the type of things that you'll find just at the farmer's market. And also interesting squash, like these little guys are called patty pan squash. You'll find those at the markets. You'll find heirloom tomatoes, varieties of apples, peaches, plums that you wouldn't find at the grocery store. I love that. And you guys have actually brought along a list mm -hmm. um, that people can take a look at because basically there are farmers markets in in every neighborhood. I mean Rhode Island yeah. is really good for that. Yeah there's over 40 markets now in Rhode Island every day of the week and if you go on actually our website farmfresh um, dot org. Mm -hmm. They list all the websites, uh, all the farmers markets, and you can the see year. what day and everything. I know yeah, because yes. I've been on the website many times. <laughs> <laughs> now you know a lot of people hear, oh, you should eat locally. But what does that mean? Why does that help me? Why does that help the environment? What does it do? Well, first of all, it just tastes better. I mean, it travels. It's so fresh. I mean, this was picked yesterday, this morning, um, and also I mean, all of this is from Rhode Island, grown by Rhode Islanders mm -hmm. on Rhode Island farms. Um, and if we want that to continue, we need to support it. And there has to be something to be said about not having a carbon footprint that mm -hmm. transport this transports this from, you know, in a lot of cases, South America. Right. Tell me a little bit about um, what uh, what people really enjoy most about farmers markets. I think it's the community experience. Yeah. You get to meet the farmers, you can ask them questions, hear their stories, hear about their, you know, their family, maybe their grandparents farmed on that same land. Mm -hmm. They've been doing it for generations and also ask them for advice, how to cook, what to do. Yeah. You know, they have ideas and recipes for you. So it's a good place to share information about food. And you know what I love is uh, this salad that we're making in the kitchen is so great because it's got red onions, it's got corn, it's got a lot of things in it that you can find at your farmer's market. So if you're wondering, what the heck do I do with all this produce, just throwing it all together sometimes all right. with a little olive oil and some herbs is really a great way to do it. Yes. Ladies, thanks so much for being yeah, here. Thank you. And if you're interested in finding out where a farmer's market is near your community and your neighborhood, all you have to do is head over to foxprovidence.com and we'll give you the list. Back over to you.